All right, friends, welcome to our introduction to Adobe Photoshop Mix, a free Android and iOS app available from your friends at Adobe. Right now, you can tell I've already installed it. I have created any necessary free Adobe account, and I am ready for us to get to work. We're going to cover uh, some of the basics while we create this composition that you see here. I've got two different versions uh, involving the United States Capitol, an unidentified flying object, flying saucer, and a cow. Let us begin. So this assumes that you have downloaded the images that you want to work with and they are on your phone already. So I'm going to go to the plus button to start a new composition. I would like to start with an image and I have them here in my recents. Uh, if you back arrow enough, you can go to on my iPhone, you could have them on Dropbox, you could steal from Facebook. Uh, if you're somewhat more modern than any of these, like Instagram or Snapchat, well, you're out of luck. But I'm going to go get an image uh, that is in my recents, and I would like to start with the flying saucer. What we're going to do is practice with the different cutout tools. Now, if you're a Photoshop user on desktop, you might think of this as... Um, quick mask or uh, an auto selection tool, but they call it cutout here. And I am at the bottom toolbar. I'm sliding it back and forth and I'm going to tap on cutout. And there are choices here as well as to what you would like to cut out and how you would like to refine it. But for this one, we're looking at a pretty consistent and clean background around the flying saucer. Let's go to auto. I'm going to tap that in the lower left hand corner and even before I've finished talking about it it's already removed the background amazing okay so check mark in the lower right hand corner agrees with my changes if I tap the x in the lower left it un will undo the changes if you look at the top menu bar in the center there is also an undo and redo button. Those are the backwards arrow and the forwards arrow. I am going to tap the check mark in the lower right hand corner to agree with my changes. And there's our UFO. Now, just like desktop Photoshop, you work with layers in Photoshop Mix. And if you look on the right side of our image, there is a thumbnail of our first layer with the flying saucer in place. Above it, there is a plus button. I'm going to tap the plus button, and I would like to add a layer with a new image. And I am going to grab the U.S. capital and drop that there. Now, you can see these do not exactly match up size-wise. That's okay. Grab that little handle and drag to make the U.S. capital bigger. Don't stress about it filling the entire image because we will crop towards the end of our work today. A um, couple things about navigation here. So tapping once on an image selects the layer. Using two fingers allows you to move and zoom the entire composition. So do pay attention to that and I will talk about it when I am single touch versus a two finger pinch to zoom, etc. All right, let me get that better in place. Okay, so what I would like to do, friends, is to bring the flying saucer layer above and have it sitting above our existing layer here of the US Capitol. So I'm going to tap on the flying saucer layer, tap and hold, and I'm dragging it up, and I let go, and there is our flying saucer. And again, we can scale this by using a single finger to grab the handle and scale it. Remember, I'm gonna use a pinch zoom. Also, I can use it to resize it, and then a single finger drag to put it in place. If you want to rotate it, you can tap and hold on one of the handles on the corner 
and you can rotate it as well. All right, so we have that in place. We have now almost done with our composition, but it's more fun if we add the cow and that's gonna show us some more tools as well. So right side, plus button to add a new layer, image, and I'm going to go grab the cow. And of course the cow is in the field, right? So let's go back to cutout on the bottom menu bar. And I'm gonna try auto again and see how it does. I'll always give it a chance and auto. And you know, it didn't do a bad job, but if we zoom in, uh, we lost a leg and we have some blobs around the edge, including a cow that was in the background. So let's uh, explore some of our other cutout tools. I'm gonna tap the undo button up on the top menu bar, restore the cow image. And right now, looking at the bottom menu again, I've already got the smart button selected. I'm gonna pinch zoom so I can zoom in a bit. And you notice with the smart cutout selected, there is a little gear icon on the left side of your image. I'm gonna tap that and you get two choices, add or subtract. So similar to um, working in Photoshop where you would be flipping the black and white colors, whether you are adding to a selection or removing from it, if you're in a quick mask or changing add to selection, remove from selection in desktop Photoshop. This is pretty much the same thing. So I am going to go over here and tap that gear icon, tap on subtract, and I am just using my finger to brush away. Now this is in theory smart, right? So it's detecting some of the edges. And this is gonna take me a little time. So, you know, you can listen to me talk, I'm gonna talk, but you can always just make it a party and fast forward until I am done. This will require some pinch to zoom, some two fingers to pan. I'm working around the tail here. And there's a perfect example, I'll overdo it a little bit, where we lost the tail entirely. So I'm gonna tap on the gear on the left side, switch to add, zoom in a little more, and paint some of that tail back. Then I've got to go to subtract, try and remove again, but not too much. Just gonna work through this here. Zoom in even more. Tap on subtract. I've noticed that you don't get to change your brush size. Really, the detail that you get is controlled mainly by how heavily you zoom in. And so you gotta if you're if you're new to working with mobile graphics, you've got to be patient with yourself because you, your finger is the mouse pointer. And so it's a different way of managing it sometimes. I'm doing a lot of two finger pinch zoom and let's work our way around the cow a bit more here. Lost some of the leg. So I'm gonna tap on add and put that back. Tap again, subtract. I told you you could fast forward at any time, but you're still here listening to me. I like how it shows you a low opacity version of the entire picture when you are painting your selection either on or off and that as soon as you let go that disappears that's just super helpful all right we're in the home stretch here pinch zoom work up my way up here just a couple more areas that need some attention I do wish that 
the area where you were painting to select or deselect the image would show uh, a plus or a minus so you knew which one you were in. But nothing's perfect. Okay, so let me just paint away this over here. Zoom in. Get rid of the sky around the bovine. Okay. And we have selected the cow using the smart selection tool. Now I'm going to tap on one more tool over here. There's also a basic selector. And you'll notice here, you do get more control over the brush. If you want to work with the brush, uh, the eraser, the size of the brush, tap and hold, and you can drag and make that larger or smaller. And then the hardness as well, you can control by dragging up and down to change the hardness. But I think we did pretty well with the smart um, cut out. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to tap the check mark in the lower right hand corner. And now we have three layers. There's that cow, just as I'd hope to have. I am going to drag the handles. I'm going to resize. And then I'm going to tap on one of the corners. Tap and hold so I can rotate that good old UFO trope of a cow being abducted by an alien spacecraft. So we're nearly there. Um, I would like to even this out a little bit. So I've tapped on the entire composition. And then you have to make sure when you do what's next that you are happy with, with what we're about to do, that your composition is otherwise ready to go because we're going to merge the layers. I haven't found a way to unmerge them in Photoshop Mix yet. So I'm going to tap on the top layer of the cow and tap on it again. Choose Merge Down. Okay, so now you can see what happened. Flying Saucer and Cow are on the same layer. I'm going to tap on that again. Go to Merge Down. And now all three are one layer. I'm going to look at my bottom menu bar and I'm going to tap on the Looks button. And these are like filters that you see in everything going back to the days of early Instagram, right? So you can try different looks, but I think the one that I like is over here and it's called Ashen and it adds a little bit of a grain to it to make it look like a 1950s uh, newspaper photo. So I'm going to tap the check mark. Last stop, friends. Top menu bar top left hand corner there is the classic overlapping crop symbol i'm going to tap on that and i'm just going to crop out those transparent pixels at the bottom check mark lower right hand corner to agree and now i am totally satisfied with my composition to drop it onto my camera roll or otherwise send it out to the big wide world Top menu bar, look for the share icon. You know it. It's the one that looks like a box with an arrow flinging out of the top. Tap it. Uh, this for me is just going to go straight into my camera roll, but you can see you've got lots of other options here. It is now saving it into my camera roll and I can work with it there to my heart's content. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Photoshop Mix. More tutorials will appear. Thanks for watching and have a great day.